My apologies for the moment of silence. All right, got that done. Start button again. Um, yes, I would like to start the game with... Okay. I remember the intro to this was pretty cool. Gosh, such a great intro. Western town, Raccoon City, has been completely decimated due to the T-Virus outbreak that was instigated by the international corporation Umbrella. Claire Redfield, who arrived in Raccoon City to search for her lost brother Chris and a rookie police officer, Leon S. Kennedy, managed to escape from the city. But their ordeal was only a prelude of things to come. To me, this is the true Resident Evil 3. Three months later. Your identification number is WKD4496. <sighs> Welcome to your new home. Her name is Claire Redfield. We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility 10 days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous STARS teams. That is beyond me. I guess Claire has just got them superpowers.
Get out of here. This place is finished. I don't know, it might have been a special forces team. But in any case, this prison's been taken over. The troops have been wiped out. What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. But you may as well know, you have no chance of getting off this island. And what about you? What are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Definitely want that. Okay, so that's how you do a 180.
already off to a good fucking start. That's the one thing I hated about this game is that that just seems a little too unnecessarily difficult. Oh, hi, Steve. Wait, wait. Don't shoot. Who are you? Huh? You're not a zombie. Oh, great. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding, but I thought you were another one of those mon- Shut up! Make one wrong move and I'll shoot! Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I heard there's an airport around here. And once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. Yeah. <laughs> 
This room stinks of death. Based upon the information I found, I believe that I'm far south of the equator. Lucky for me that Bob in the bunk below me is one of the most interesting type of guys. Today Bob told some crazy story of why he was put in this place with me. Bob said that he used to be an attendant of the head of this place. This boss named Alfred, we all know who that is, supposedly placed him in here because of a tiny little mistake. What does that mean? What's going to happen to me? May 20th, without warning, a group of military men took Bob to the building behind the guillotine stand. At midnight, I, I'll, sneak around, uh, I'll sneak out of here to see him. I've been hearing that anyone taken to that building never comes back. On top of that, there are these really large plastic bags constantly being mo removed from that place. I better pray for Bob. May 21st, I was wrong. I shouldn't have gone there. What is going on in there? All I could hear was some insanely creepy laughter and the sound of Bob screaming. I don't know what else to do. I can't stop thinking about it. Is that going to happen to me? I just can't let it. I just can't. May 27th, since my last entry, all of my fellow inmates have been taken to that building. I know that I am next. It's obvious that we were all here to be used as Alfred's guinea pigs. There's no way out. What am I going to do? Here comes the fun part, because I know at some point dog, a dog or two is going to hear. Yep. Oh, 
Oy vey. That was close. Forgot. A, I should have known there was going to be a zombie on the corner there. Eep. Oh, that's right. I'm going to be coming up on a metal detector's tab. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. I hate this part. I really fucking hate this part so much. <laughs> sure to verify the content of the following facility access application form and add the applicant's name to the expected visitors list. Chief Prison Guard Room Paul Steiner. I hereby apply for access permission for prison area D. Details follow. Visitor's name Carl Grissom. Purpose of entry. Carrying in the, carrying in the following materials. New product sample from Metal Industries Co. TG01. Various daily commodities ordered by the prison. We'll use a transportation truck. TG01 sample will be stored in the designated briefcase. I'm wondering, was there anything else over here before I... be getting a uh, grenade launcher. Oh, first aid spray. Fortunately, I don't think I can carry those through. So let's use your manual. Our 3D product, the 3D duplicator, consists of two parts. This portion scans 3D ob objects. Since they place materials that you want to have scanned onto the tray of the scanner, the sc scanned object will be processed into the 3D data, which will transfer into the duplicator portion. If you place material you wish to have converted on the machine, you can begin conversion based on the 3D data that was created by the 3D scan scanner portion. 3D printing, baby! Whoa, this game was like fucking... This game is over 20 years old. And here we have 3D printers. Crazy how that works, huh? Uh, I think I'm gonna need to replicate like a key or a key card or something. Something that I know that I can't take with me over on the uh side there. So, oh yeah, that's right, I'm gonna have to. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. So I think the, uh, I think both of these are actually... Does the first aid spray count as a... We'll find out. Yeah, it is. 
idiots. Chris Redfield. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or You mean my brother? Ah. Your siblings. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know! What was that all about? Weird. Oh, good old memory card slots. Those were the days. Mm, that's right. That's what we're replicating. Printer, yo, this was over. This was like 23 years ago. This is crazy shit. fucking alarm to stop. I thought I had to exit the room and it would, uh...
deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. team. Oh, that's right. You know what? I can do it. I can do it using the green herb. Mm-hmm. I can unlock that one door. Oh. 
padlock then. So, so I'm assuming now I can use the fire extinguisher. That's right, I forgot I'm gonna have to run past some dogs. He's gonna be a bitch! So I don't think there's any way I could... I mean, I could shoot him, but that's kind of a waste of my ammo. Alright, let's go. Alright, come on, you damn dog. Where are you? There you are! Come on! Come on! See, just gotta do a little zigzagging. Just a little zigzag. idiotic thing because I don't have a whole lot of uh Fucking knife is worthless. Worthless. back out here and do freaking zombies. That's right, I gotta use the fire extinguisher somewhere, but I'm trying to remember where. I hope this isn't where zombies are just gonna respawn, probably, knowing my fucking luck. So I know there were, like, I think there were certain parts of this game where the zombies would just, like, respawn. There's no way of getting around that shit. Let's waste that's two herbs down. Close. How am I supposed to? 
to go. No one's supposed to go. I think about a padlock key. How would I use that? Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm supposed to use the fire extinct. Oh, I know. Okay, I get it now. I have to use the fire extinguisher, I think, on the, uh... On the fire. This is the one thing I don't miss about the new Resident Evil games, these damn fixed camera angles. Off me! Fucking asshole.
Description. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Only nine bullets. This is for using our products this time we have gathered our most advanced technologies and have succeeded in creating the unique anti-metal detection alloy TG01. Cannot be detected by any metal detectors, cannot be pictured by our uh, blah blah blah. Lightweight, yet horrible. We plan to develop aha, uh -huh, this is where I'm supposed to use the uh for the emblem. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Alright. Oh, oh. Ooh, my lighter. Forgot about that. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. They weren't gonna make this easy for me. Fucking bastards. <laughs> See, there's like. It'd be one thing if they actually gave. Whoa! I was close. You know, it'd be one thing if they gave me, I don't know, enough of a. They didn't make that area so narrow that I literally can't run around the zombies. I don't know, I'm just saying. That always annoyed the shit out of me. Right, gotta use it on that one door. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hold it. Okay, it's good. Safe rooms up here somewhere. I think it's in here. Yep. Years have passed since I began serving Sir Alfred. He doesn't trust anyone. Even though I am his attendant, I still strictly prohibit I'm still strictly prohibited from entering his private house. What is his problem anyway? I say he lives with his twin sister Alexia in his private house on the hill. Occasionally I've seen someone standing in the window of the house. It might have been Alexia, whose extreme beauty is often talked about. I once asked Sir Alfred about this, but it only enraged him. Even though I am his attendant, he will not show me any lenience. If I ask about her again, I could put my life at risk. After all, it is a mystery why he so desperately tries to keep his private life with Alexia a secret. Robert Dorson. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
I can finally start putting some shit away. This fucking knife is useless. Oh yeah, I need the, uh, I need those guns that Steve ends up getting. Put those on the door. NTC zero three nine four. So dyslexic. Idiot.
Oh yes, the Ashfords. They're a little kooky. to run around and use that timer? Will I even have time to do it? Mm. 
I was too close. But I found something, thanks to you. Looks cool, huh? Oh, I need those. Give them to me. You gotta be kidding. I found it, and I'm keeping it. Fine. But let's make a deal. I'll trade you for something fully automatic. See you around, Claire. Adios. Hey, wait! Steve! interfere with my operation. What are you talking about? You let yourself be captured so you could lead your people to this base. I have no idea what you're babbling about. You don't fool me. I am Alfred Ashford, commander of this base. Oh? You must be one of Umbrella's lower level officers if you're in command of a backwater base like this one. How dare you? The Ashford family is among the world's first and finest. 
My grandfather is one of the original founders of... Oh, I'm Umbrella. sure he is, darling. What a fruitcake. Yeah, I said it. Oops. Now tell me, why have you attacked this installation? Attacked? Shortly after you arrived, <coughs> my base was attacked. You must have informed your people of its location. I still don't follow you. I really don't know anything about that. Unacceptable! How can you deny it? My base has been destroyed. And thanks to you, the experimental T-Virus was released, creating countless zombies and monsters. Tell me, who do you work for? Who sent you? <laughs> Damn, calm down, bro. Have it your way, then. You're Have it just your a way. rat in a cage fucking anyway. Fucking crybaby. Albert is such I'd a fucking sure crybaby. You entertained before I we all know he's completely, you. you know, we know his sister <laughs> runs the show. She's just, she's got him by the bowels. she got him by the cojones. There's like a submarine or something. I think it's going to be on the other side. Oh! Ow. Asshole. This is a... Oh yeah, when do I get the bolt gun? Get it at some point. Oh, goody. There is a submarine. I would like to equip the side pack. You'd be fucking crazy if you'd say no. Always want more space, you know what I'm saying?
to make sure I'm not missing anything.
that place. Yeah. that way. I think I'm 
gonna go ahead and uh, save up here and call it a night. It's getting a little late and uh, I got work in the morning. Guess I'm gonna have to think long and hard over uh, what I'm supposed to do next. Because this game is a royal pain in the ass with like very limited ammo they give you and shit like that. Not a whole lot of room to work around with in terms of avoiding the monsters, but... Alright, uh, y'all, I hope you enjoy your evening. And until next time, peace out, yo.